back out on the road in Red Bank are Tony Caputo and meteorologist Sally Ann Mosey are at the Appetite, Appetite Culinary Appetite Arts, Arts Festival. Arts Festival? Yeah. At the uh, Count Basie Theater. <laughs> well, Tony, what's cooking That's out there? That's where we are. We're in the Count Basie Theater right now, this beautiful facility built in, I think it was 1907, the mayor was talking to me about it a little earlier. Historic, fantastic, right outside is where this event is going. <laughs> you, <laughs> you guys know excuse this me, guy. Excuse me, excuse me one second. <laughs> this is live television. Could somebody please get Zimmern out here? Did you do this on purpose, man? <laughs> I have a code seven in the lobby. <laughs> Andrew Zimmern, Bizarre you? Foods, Travel Child, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. I'm thrilled. It. You know, there, there was some panic around here. I did ago. live local news for six years in Minneapolis, so I wanted to wait to the last possible minute. You pulled it off. Well Thank done. You. Thank well you. done. Talk to me about an event like this. Your whole thing is Bizarre Foods. Now, to my knowledge, at this event this weekend, there won't be any Bizarre Foods per se, but there'll just be some great food. No, 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 no. <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong. Uh, squirrel. What? Uh, duck balls. This is you. Yeah, this is me. Tonight here. This is me. Yeah. Tonight, live. Um, a really engaging, interactive audience theater presentation I think people are really going to like. Yes, there's great foods here, and everything that Appetite represents is an exploration of what's going on in food right now in summer 2014. But people come to these kind of things and want to see what my brand delivers. So... We're gonna have plenty of strangeness too. Andrew, I have squirrels destroying my shed in the backyard. Could you come down and take care of that for me? They're delicious. Yeah? I think you have to talk to the city fathers about the ordinances with pellet guns. <laughs> How did you get involved in this? I mean, it's to, to bizarre foods. When did it all start for you? It's an excuse. I actually, in all seriousness, couldn't care less about the food. I'm a food guy, but the, the story is about people. It's about exploring ideas around patience, tolerance, and understanding. It's about telling, you know, when you start to think about food, food's good, food with a story is better, food with a story people haven't heard about is best of all. Sure. Those stories are found at the fringes. So let's celebrate those things. You can call them bizarre foods, you can call them cultural oddities, you can call them just good TV. I think it's a great way to unite people over food. We're out of time, but tickets are available tonight, news12.com for more information. I mm -hmm. have to ask you, if I don't, everybody will say, sure. why didn't you ask them, the most bizarre food? The worst thing I've ever eaten was dinner three days ago at your house. I thought, <laughs> I thought the pork was, I mean, how you overcook something. Everybody that. knows that already. Give me something good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> dinner five days ago at your house. It's just not, you know, stick to what you do best. No, I mean, all the strange, it just keeps getting stranger and stranger. Fermented foods, you know, yeah. some of the rotted stuff. And you do it. Well, of course I do. Someone's grandmother made it. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. See well you done. Thank you very Your much. Your timing is fantastic. He's done. It's a wrap. You can bring him back. <laughs> Andrew Zimmer, tonight, Count Basie Theater, tickets available on news12.com. Back to you.